morning, guys. It's going back on town. And there's fog on the street. You guys see it? It's clouds. Clouds. <laughs> Minnesota. It's always nice to us. And it always goes by way too fast. We have to head back early this morning already. But we had a really good time as always. Did always you guys have busy. a good time? Yeah. We had a great weekend. We really did. We decided to go. But back to our pub we go. And back to school we go. <laughs> but these three troopers, they'd be great. Good travelers back there. Way more successful than the last flight. But we made it. Now we get to go home and see our Sebi boy. We've missed him so much. He's so, so excited. excited. He's Sebi boy. He Which was, is uh, shocking. I never thought I'd miss an animal, but yes, I really missed him. Some people like forget that David lives with us. So David was watching him. And then in the couple hours that David was at work, we had someone come by and see him. But it's just he so got weird. Extra love. And Now he's gonna want to go outside and literally roll on the tiles. Well, 
I'd call that a success. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? That was so good. Hi, you're the good boy. <laughs> He's so excited. Come on. Let's go downstairs. Oh, good job at the stairs. We don't let him come upstairs, guys. So sometimes he jumps over the gate because he can jump so high. We can even put it up a couple of steps and he still makes it up. Yay! Are you so happy? Why are you sitting there? You want to go outside? I'm worried mom's gonna get mad at me if I let you go outside. <laughs> He's like, I just wanna go outside and get dirty. No! Record time, I went to Trader Joe's for one thing. And one thing only! And I came back with more than one thing. <laughs> Technically, the one item was anything pumpkin, so. I won't show you everything that we got, but new item at Trader Joe's. Cinnamon bun spread. Woo! Every single person that I came in contact that works there, which was about five people, said, incredible. There's cookie butter and some other butters. I think we've tried them all. I wanna smell it. it smells like eggs. <laughs> Can I smell it? it? Smells like the filling of a cinnamon roll. What would you eat this on? Toast? Or a banana? <laughs> Ooh, that's how we should Ooh. do it. I honestly probably won't eat this that much, but I wanted to try it and I thought. Yeah, I'm you guys still might... supposed to be eating it. Oh, like, wow, it's that? very. Uh... Oh, wow, it's very. It literally is the innards of a cinnamon roll. Because all the other ones are super hard usually. Yeah. Look at that. One by Evelyn's Rules. Okay, you gotta like say something now. What do you rate it? Come on, say something. I'm gonna give you the best bite. I like my things evenly, evenly spread. Wow. We just don't buy cookies or sweets. That's like better than the inside of a cinnamon roll. Uh oh, that's dangerous. I have to lock that one up. Mm hmm. And it is really good. I think that's wow. my favorite of their butter things. I think I could get sick of it. It basically tastes like candy. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Today is Penelope's first day of soccer practice. Her first game is on Saturday. And then My Noah- first game is on Saturday. Yeah, and you have your first practice of coach's pitch tomorrow. Hey. And Ezzy has his first skateboard practice tonight. Right? PJ, what do you know about soccer? Um, I pick a ball pick and the it ball? goes. And can you use your head to hit it? No. Well, you could technically if it was near. Are you allowed to use your feet? Yes. What can't you use in soccer? I can. A hand. Okay, a hand. Noah played soccer for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. Wasn't your favorite. No, I um, think I no. I take a ball and mm -hmm. ate my ball. <laughs> what? I'm eating a ball right now. You're eating your soccer ball? Hey. Hi. Do you just love the camera? I don't know what my soccer <laughs> ball is. Um, I think it's in the garage. I'll grab it on our way out, okay? Um. <laughs> oh, it's in your belly now. No. <laughs> Guess what? I need to tell you something real quick. For baseball and soccer. When you're done at the game, for both of those, you give the team a high five. Oh, yeah. You show good sportsmanship at the end. Yeah. Oh, sir. Or, or <laughs> and then you so. in grown-up baseball, um, you help, you hug your team and pat them on the back. Okay, we're at practice. PJ just had her first drill, which was dribbling it all the way down the cones and then back. And then she told me and Noah. Oh, she's doing it again. Oh, she's doing it again. <laughs> here she goes. PJ, down the line. PJ, PJ. Okay, here we go, round two, round two. She's doing so well, trying so hard not to use her hands. There she goes, there she goes. First soccer practice. There's her coach with the orange whistle. Nice. What did she tell me and you to do? What? All the parents are like helping their kids. She's like, I want you and, you and Noah to go sit on the sideline. So here we are. Let's go and help her. No, she's doing well. If she doesn't want our help, that's even better. The coach wanted us to help, but she doesn't need it. Go, 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 go. Nice. Okay, they're gonna kick into the goal. It's PJ's turn. You ready? I want a point over there. Come on, let's go. However you get there. Go, it kick it in the goal, baby. Get in there. Kick it. Kick it. This is where all those practice come. Get it. One more big kick. One more big kick. Kick it. Boom. There you go. Come on. Come on. Kick it. Kick it. Good job. Good job.
Kick it hard. No. Nice. There you go. There you go. Dribble back. Dribble back. There you go. PJ, first practice. Just kicking in the goal. PJ, just stand back and kick it. Now knows an expert. PJ's got her jersey on. She's number 11 this season. Cause she's good. Oh my goodness, that was the best soccer practice I've ever been to in my life. 